car. Right. And then you I will light me? you up. Get out. I'm infuriated and everybody else should be infuriated as well. Family members react tonight to newly released dash cam video in the case of a suburban woman's mysterious death in a Texas jailhouse. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Sullivan. And I'm Rob Johnson. Also new tonight, the sheriff at the Texas jail now says Sandra Bland told authorities that she was being booked into the jail, that she'd previously tried to kill herself. But the former Naperville woman also told her jailers she was not depressed and instead was upset about her arrest. CBS 2's Jim Williams live in Lyle where the family just wrapped up a news conference. Jim, what were they saying? They did, Rob and Kate. First of all, the family is disputing the official statements that she tried to commit suicide before or that she was depressed. They say she was simply the victim of an overzealous Texas state trooper. Sandra Bland's mother and sisters were here. One sister took issue with those who say Bland should have simply cooperated. Step out of the car. With the Texas state trooper on July 10th. She was pulled over for something so insignificant and because of an officer who felt like maybe his ego was bruised and got in the way, not once did he ever say he felt threatened. But when you tell me that you're going to light me up, I feel extremely threatened and concerned, and I'm not going to get out of my car. Attorney Cannon Lambert said the family doesn't believe Sandra Bland suffered from depression and disputed reports that she tried to commit suicide months before she was found dead in her jail cell. Authorities say she took her own life there. Sandy was a social activist. Social activists don't take their own life, particularly in jail. Just doesn't make sense. Bland's mother did not speak, but her sister described bringing Bland's body back to the Chicago area. It is a brief moment of gratification. It's brief because we know that in the coming days, we are going to have to lay our awesome, beloved daughter, sister, friend, aunt to rest. That's very difficult. Bland's funeral is Saturday here at the DuPage AME Church. Now, some observers say it appears that dash cam video was edited. Texas officials say there was simply a transmission problem. At any rate, the family plans to hire a media analyst to study all of the video. Live in Lyle, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. Rob, Kate. All right, Jim, thank you.